What's up, Street Talks? They are coming from the Eric from Street Story blog. So I want to give you guys some practical tips, suggestions, and ideas in terms of making better street photographs, and especially shooting my personal favorite street portraits. So first and foremost, what makes a street portrait? So a street portrait is essentially a street photograph where you approach a stranger, you ask for permission, and you engage with them. And I don't think street portraits necessarily need to be uh, labeled as a different genre in photography because I think street portraits photos with permission without permission doesn't really matter in street photography as long as it's a meaningful powerful photograph and the thing with shooting street portraits is it's probably the one of the best ways to overcome social anxiety fear and essentially becoming a more confident individual my practical suggestion is whether you're drawn to people whether you're drawn to faces try to experiment shooting street portraits because it's an assignment that will help you get over your fears of shooting street photography. So the practical tip I'd give you guys is, first and foremost, try this assignment. It's called the 10 No Challenge. It's an offshoot of the 5 Yes, 5 No Challenge. It's where you approach a bunch of strangers and you're intentionally trying to get rejected. And the, the tip behind the 10 No Challenge is look for the 10 you know, most unfriendly looking folks who you actually think will say no, but in reality, people you actually think will say yes. And so I just want to kind of um, share you guys some of the contact sheets and essentially describe how I was able to work the scene and how I was able to um, make the different portraits of these strangers that I met. Okay, so a lot of people look at this photograph and they think that, oh, Eric Kim is just an asshole. He just kind of ambushed this guy and just took a photo of him without permission. But whereas in reality, if you look at the contact sheet, see how many photos I shot of him and I had to work the scene in order to get the shot. So this was actually the first photograph where I took the photo and everyone's laughing. It's like, oh, this guy's crazy, blah, blah, blah. And then I said to him, don't smile, look serious. So he's trying to look more serious. And then by the last shot. So I think one of the tips in shooting street portraits is the best street photographers are actually often the best liars. Another practical tip. So this guy named Marty, he's actually a street photographer based in San Francisco. And the way I was able to make this portrait is, you know, look in this photo, this kind of looks like I took a candid shot of a dude and it looks like I'm an asshole assaulting this poor dude. But whereas in reality, that's actually him just chatting. And he was just talking to us and I was making this photo while he was talking. And he's actually on the streets shooting street photos as well. So you could actually see these other pictures of him smiling and just kind of having different gestures and you can see all the different combinations of the scenes I'm trying to photograph. So the lesson is know that when you're shooting street photos and street portraits, talk to your subject while you're shooting them. Another street portrait I shot is I was in uh, New York City, saw this nice stream of light entering the this restaurant and I saw this woman with this beautiful braided hair. I said, oh, excuse me, miss. The light looks so nice on you. Do you mind if I make a few portraits of you? And if you want to know what kind of street portraits might make a good photo, ask people who actually you're kind of afraid of getting rejected by or people who you think are really beautiful. So I thought she was quite beautiful. And so I asked her to come up to light. I shot this with the Ricoh GR version two, did minus one or minus two exposure compensation. And you, you can see essentially I worked the scene shooting about 19 photos. And this is another pro tip is when you're, you see a good subject, don't just shoot horizontal, uh, vertical pictures, also shoot horizontal pictures. So you can see all the different pictures that I shot. And also you could see from this picture to this picture, I actually uh, burned the bottom left corner here in Lightroom using the adjustment brush to make it darker, to make a more dramatic effect. And you can see all the pictures that I'm shooting of her. And essentially what I'm trying to do is trying to get her one eye in the light and having the rest of the background obscured. In terms of post-processing, you could boost the black slider to make the background a little bit more uh, dark. And you can see these are some horizontal shots that I shot. None of these really worked out. And ultimately the best shot was the shot of her looking directly into the lens. Also another good pro tip is if you want to make a nice portrait of somebody, try to make the photo where you get one of the, the eyes directly in the center of the frame and this is a technique that a lot of old school artists did back in the days like um, I think Raphael did this a lot and uh, so did some pictures I think by Leonardo da Vinci I might be wrong. Another practical tip is sometimes when you're shooting these street portraits they just kind of look like candid photos so here in this picture you see this 
handsome Japanese dude and asked him to stand in front of this poster of this eye here in the background. And I photographed about 14 pictures of him. So you could see how I'm working the scene. And in a scene like this, if you see a poster in the background, you could ask actually ask your subjects, hey, excuse me, sir, do you mind if you stand in front of this background? So you could see I'm actually not focusing on the subject closest to me. In the beginning, I'm actually focusing on the background or the poster behind him. And you can see all the different pictures that I'm working the scene, shooting some pictures with a flash, some pictures of him in focus, because you never really know which shot is going to be the best until you go home and then you actually have the chance to sit down and really look at the pictures. So the, the tip is when you're shooting street portraits, look for an interesting subject or a thing in the background and try to focus on the, the thing in the background rather than the subject uh, closer to you. Also, another tip is when you're shooting street portraits of strangers, you know, often one tip I like to do is I actually I'll ask the subject to look up, look down, look left, look right. And you can see in this series of images I shot of this man, here he kind of looks like the guy from Up. I'm shooting a bunch of street portraits of him. He's just looking straight into the camera. It's kind of a bit boring. And I actually asked for him to have one picture looking up. And here I love this picture because now you can see the, the textures and the details in the neck and the expressions in the face. And this was the last shot of the series. So I'm glad that I worked the scene. I didn't just take one shot and run away. And that's another technique that you want to do is don't just take one or two shots and run away. Try to work the scene and try to get as many photos as humanly possible. And probably the last tip I'll give you guys in shooting street portraits, yeah, just be a little bit creative. Think about other ways you can make this picture a little more fun. So we saw this guy wearing all black look pretty badass, shot a few street portraits of him. And I looked at his outfit and just thought to myself, what is the one detail or the one thing about him that's a little bit more unique or interesting to photograph? And it was actually his shoes. He was wearing this big Doc Martin boots. So I actually asked him, he said, oh, excuse me, do you mind if you stood up and you held your foot in the air and pretend like you're going to squash me like a bug? He said, yeah, sure. So you can see he's holding his shoe up and I'm working the scene from different angles. And often you don't know what composition you want until you shoot it. So this was actually the best one. You can see some pictures of the composition of the foot isn't as good. So essentially work the scene. So uh, once again, when it comes to shooting street portraits, if I could give you guys some techniques to reiterate, direct the subject, tell them what to look like. So one tip is don't have the subject smile and look at you. Just tell them, don't smile, look serious. This is a serious portrait. Another tip is, once again, photograph the subject while they're talking. And sometimes when you're photographing them while they're talking, you could get a much more interesting, candid expression. And the last thing is don't be shy to direct your subject. So asking them to look up, look down, look left, look right. And sometimes you'll get the best gestures in your photos. So to learn more about street photography, go on Safari, search Eric Kim blog, right? And you'll see lots of really good stuff on street photography of how to improve your photos. Also, one thing that I uploaded recently to my blog is the fishing technique. And make sure to subscribe to my newsletter to have access to all these really dope PDFs and information to improve your street photography. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.